If you don't know who Melanie Fontana is, she is an American composer and songwriter who has previously worked with a few of BTS's songs. Now, the issue is not her working with BTS. The problem with Melanie Fontana is that she's a credit claiming clout chaser with a tendency to be rude and selfish. She claims that she herself is responsible for BTS's success which feeds into the idea that BTS cannot be successful in the West without collaborations or assistance from a white artist. Melanie Fontana first started working with BTS on the song Boy With Love. She wrote the chorus and sent it to Nam June, but Nam June rewrote 99% of the lyrics because he wasn't happy with it. The only thing he kept is the, listen my my baby part. And he also mentioned that the melody Melanie provided was nearly impossible to write lyrics to. Melanie is euphoria. Wow, euphoria is a song. We're going to do a chorus on SNL. Melanie is very happy. When I came to 처음에 막 이랬었던 것 같아요. 막 Listen, mama, baby, I'm a sunny fellow, sunny girl, so fast. I'ma take you to love is love in love. I see what you want to me, cause in listen for no party, don't go say. 뭐 이런 식이에요. 어, 뭐 그래가지고 이게 야 이거 한글을 붙이는 게 여러분 한번 붙여보세요. 이말 말고 다른 걸로 진짜 어려워요. 한글 붙이기. 그래서 이거를 한 2부분만 한 3일 생각한 것 같아요. 레슨 마마, 리슨 마마 베이비를 어쩔 수, 그래서 결국엔 유지하는 방향으로 갔는데, 잘한 것 같아요. 그거 근데 한글을 붙여보세요. 진짜, 되게, 짜쳐요. 되게 짜쳐요. 그래서, 이 멜로디에 맞는 가사를 찾는 데가, 가는 게 진짜 힘들었고, 제가 썼지만 되게 잘 썼다고 생각하고, 아, this girl is out here taking credit for the full song when in reality Nam Jun J Hope Sugar and P Dog did most of the work. And look at this. Oh my god, but then like to see them singing my song at Staples Center, like what? Did she really just say that Euphoria is her song? Six other people worked on that song too. She's really discrediting all of these amazing songwriters and producers and acting as if they don't exist. The audacity. And Jungkook did not perfectly embody the meaning of Euphoria into his very own song for her to claim it as hers. And this is not even half of the shit she's done. She was selling boxes with exclusive pictures of her and BTS for profit. So this is an exclusive selfie of BTS with Melanie Joy Fontana. She agreed to be interviewed for articles that provide the implication that Melanie herself is entirely responsible for BTS's success. She has been seen liking posts of edits of BTS with other girl group members, fueling dating rumors and scandals. She also claimed that the backup vocals in the song Puma were by her, when in reality it's actually by Adora, a big hit producer. She has also made racist remarks and told multiple people to themselves. On top of that, she always threatens to tell BTS whenever armies call her out for discrediting their work, and she has the audacity to accuse armies of being racist for saying that she's white, which is an objective fact, it isn't offensive. Can we also talk about how after Sully passed away last year, Melanie took to Instagram and bragged about writing a song for FX and then making everything about herself. She used the passing of Sully to victimize herself, taking all the hardships Sully had to experience and compared it to her getting called a colonizer and a cracker. She trivialized Sully's death and it's fucking disgusting. What a migraine of a person. Michael Lindgren is also an American producer and songwriter who has worked with BTS before. He's also Melanie's husband, and he's also just as bad as her. Here he is claiming that he and Melanie wrote every single word in the song Sweet Night. This made me so fucking angry. T. Hyung wrote Sweet Night all by himself. He wrote it while he was abroad and he talked about how he had a hard time because he wasn't able to convey what was in his mind. This song is so important to T. Hyung, and for them to discredit him like that makes my blood boil. Yes, they did help a little, but their names come last which means they contributed the least, but somehow they're acting as if they birthed the song. When armies confronted their manager about it, he claimed that Melanie and Michael did write the song all by themselves. He also claimed that they had sent a full version in English, and BTS then translated it to Korean. But the thing is, 
the whole song is in English. Oh. I understand Melanie is proud of the achievements of the songs she has co-written, but the problem is that she acts as if the songs are majorly written by her. We do not fault her for being part of it, but the fact that she uses the me myself and I agenda is a no-no and that's what makes us so angry. There's a big difference between writing and co-writing a song. One thing I've also noticed is how Melanie and Michael have never tried to take full credit for the songs they've made with western artists, but when it's for BTS they do. That doesn't sit right with me at all. And look at this. No reason, just being protective over a person that doesn't know you. A person that may love you, but a person that really doesn't know you and doesn't need your protection. There's no point. BTS still gets mistreated in the big year of 2020. Their talents get overlooked. They still don't get the recognition they deserve. Of course we will be protective over them you idiot. Being fiercely protective over BTS since their debut is the reason we've survived till now and kept our heads above water. If we don't protect BTS, who else will? Becky G. Steve Aoki. Max. Halsey. Nicki Minaj. Zara Larson. Ed Sheeran. IU. Troy Sivan and Love are just some of the many that BTS have worked with that hyped up their work together while remaining respectful and truly appreciated the opportunity to work with BTS. It was obviously a very intimidating thing getting involved with BTS because you know the power of mm -hmm. ARMY and like, you know how protective they are and rightfully so because this is a band that has been like, taken advantage of in many ways. You know what I mean? By people promising them spins and radio play in exchange for, you know, social media power because the fan base feels like they know what they can accomplish. They're amazing and so they're protective as they should be. It's incredibly sad to see people like Melanie and Michael encourage Western media to not give credit to Asian songwriters and producers. T. Hyung Adora and His Noise have worked incredibly hard on the song and I'm not gonna sit here and watch these white people take credit for doing the bare minimum. Michael Lindbergh is so adamant on protecting Melanie from armies but does he even care about his Asian co-workers not getting the credit they deserve? Their posts and Instagram comments are incredibly disrespectful. Without BTS and armies they wouldn't have the bank they have now. Stand up for your co-workers who are people of color and who already have to face challenges in the western industry. Adora never took any credits. P-Dog never took any credits. Bang PD never took any credits. But some white couple from America will claim a person of color's success for few words they added to a song. Once a colonizer always a colonizer.